So you have made an amazing generative patch, but now you would like to have it as a video file. The exporter in Wire has you covered and in this video I'm here to teach you how to use it. Navigate to the patch menu and hit export. The exporter will open and here we can set up how we would like to record our patch. But we've got a little problem on our hands. The exporter tells us that we have no texture output in our patch. Let's fix that by adding a texture out node to this patch. Now that our patch is fixed, let's open up the exporter again. But this time we'll use a fancy shortcut, Command Shift E. Now we can set up where we want to export to and how many seconds we would like to record. Additionally, you could set which output node you want to use. This is only relevant when you have multiple outputs, which we don't have in this case. Next we've got all the video settings. I will stick to the DXV3 codec with normal quality. In my case I do want to include alpha, so I'll change that in the format settings. A quick note, if you want to learn more about how all the different codecs work, check out our codec tutorial, link in the video description. The final setting is size. I will use patch resolution, but you could use a custom resolution here for your rendering needs. Now simply hit export and let wire work its magic. Here we have a nice render of our patch that we can use in other video applications, share on the web or use for a VJ set. When hitting export, Wire will start recording the output of your current patch as is. But you might require a little more synchronization than that. In this example I've got an oscillator moving a circle left to right. I would like to record a loop of this. I will start by exposing the reset phase parameter on the oscillator. Now we have an input to reset the oscillator when the recording starts, but we still need to trigger it. For that I will create a transport play node. I'll hook up the play outlet, which is a trigger, to the reset phase inlet. When wire starts exporting, the transport will restart. With this method we essentially restart this patch when we start to export. But now we run into our next problem. How many seconds do we need to record? In the case of the oscillator, this is easy, as the frequency of the oscillator is in Hertz. 1 Hertz means 1 cycle per second. So we take 1 and divide it by 0.25 and we'll end up with a 4 second cycle. Let's give that a try. And there we go, we recorded a perfect loop. The mileage you can get out of this method really depends on how your patch is made. But the point here is that you know about the transport play node and that the transport is reset when the export starts. Another node that is very useful when exporting in wire is the timeline node. In conjunction with transport play, curve and map, you can create a lot of different animation styles, which are based on seconds as their time unit, making it a lot easier to synchronize. And that was it for this tutorial. I hope you've learned something today and I'll see you in the next one.